Hello. <laughs> That was dumb. I'm sorry. So uh, AJ here with 641. In today's low budget video, we just wanted to look over the screen print shop. So we're finally getting together uh, and we're going to start producing customer items, stuff that's ordered, whatever. I have a few things in the shoot that I need to do as far as logos and stuff like that. And then we're going to get them put on. We're actually going to use this to, uh, well, technically we're going to use it to make money. So uh, I have... Got the press set up, level, everything the way I want it. Uh, so it's a 4-4. Four, four. I don't know if, if you know what that means. There's four screens and four platen stations or four workstations, right? So this is a an American-made press. We went uh, American-made rather than an overseas supplier. So uh, we were going to do a 6-6, six, six, which meant six screens and six platen stations. Uh, Platinum, excuse me, stations, it workstations anyways, 6-6. Six, six. Uh, but uh, it was an overseas supplier. So we went ahead and stuck with American-made stuff. Uh, and paid a little more for it, but uh, I'm not mad. I, I'm happy with the machine. I, I think it's great. And it's so far, it's doing what I need it to do. So uh, we did some test prints. I got some of the pallets here, and I, I've got them cleaned off, because, uh, or some of the screens. I got them ink cleaned off of them, because we're going to, possibly do other stuff so that's this one here screen this shirt's a little wrinkled and then this one here uh, uh, and that's not for sonic that's just a the sonic logo because we still do make their uniforms so uh, and i was just doing the testing on this machine so if you see uh got, you know i don't know if you can see that but uh, pocket logos anyways so just wanted to show you around a little bit we have like I say, we're doing some test stuff. So we got the press here, over here. We have the flash dryer. Uh, and we've really, I've been using this in the Cure shirts. I don't have a belt dryer. Uh, those are rather expensive. Hey, that came in. That's kind of cool, huh? Anyway, sorry. I'm just, I got a banner. Didn't get to use it because of COVID. So, but I got a banner. So uh, we're going to do a stand at uh good old days and it didn't work out for us so covid got canceled so well covid didn't obviously but anyways i got my knickknack shelf up there uh let's show you around the knickknack shelf let me pull this off here uh, i still use my phone to make videos but uh, oh so this is one of the shirts sweatshirts we did one of the test shirts and i uh, apologize for this being a female mannequin but uh it, the print came out awesome we did a thicker print on it just because we wanted to create a thicker image just to see how it would come out because if you look like the shirt I'm wearing see that's thin see how thin that is I'm not doing very good with this and then you have this one it's just thick and it's a little shinier and that's kind of that's how we wanted that to come out uh, and it did it came out awesome so I am very jazzed about the sweatshirts and how they're gonna look uh, coming in to this fall uh, a couple more designs are gonna go on as well but but I like that. That's kind of cool. So uh, my knickknack shelf. So I got, uh, you know, Star Wars bobbleheads and other stuff and more stuff and other stuff. So uh, I was going to put boards up or wood, like paneling up there and then paint it to make it look, you know, like a concrete kind of a deal, like we're in the basement or something. Uh, but honestly, I kind of like the way that looks. I think it looks pretty rustic. Uh, and I think it looks kind of cool. I got the shelf up. Uh, like I said, I got the banner going. Uh, I gotta use it for something, right? Uh, got the heat gun. This is a really, really cheap heat gun. I do not ever buy this heat gun. I think the name brand is called, uh, I think it's called heat gun. I don't know. Uh, I will be replacing that. Actually, I've already got one to replace it with. I just haven't done any with it yet. Anyway, uh, I got squeegee station set up. Uh, this is not live. That is not live, so. Don't worry, I'm not burning the place down. Uh, air compressor down there. I got uh, a heater I'm not using, trash. I got the pressure washer to clean my screens out and stuff. So let me put you back on here. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, cabinet, that's what that's called. It's called a cabinet. So I have my cabinet there. That's just my supply cabinet. It's got supplies in it i haven't done anything with the top yet i kind of like the way that feels with that kind of whatever uh, i do have insulation on this side i don't have it on the other side 
I do have that insulation set up. There is actually insulation behind this black plastic. Uh, there's also two very large, large windows. So, uh, like the window goes from here uh, and it comes all the way back to about here. So that's a that's a pretty good span of window. Well, there's actually uh, one over there as well. Uh, so I am going to put wood up on this wall. I am. Uh, so once I do that, I'll cut the windows out, put the wood up, get all that breaks, and it'll look not like that. So, uh, I, but I like like the plastic there, how it kind of looks. Uh, it looks like a shop, right? I mean, I got the plastic up, so it creates a vapor barrier as well as keeping it clean. Look, it's not all dusty and nasty in here. It's actually pretty clean. So uh, uh, I don't know. I'm going to leave it like that. I like that. So. So I got the old plot cutter. Uh, so I am still going to do some vinyl work. Uh, they do have some stuff to do, like sports shirts and stuff, that uh, team jerseys, numbers, stuff like that. It works way better with vinyl than it does with uh, ink, uh, just because it lasts longer and it's more durable. And and if it does wear out, you can replace it easier. So uh, with that in mind, uh, let's come over here. Uh, I got the heat press. So you guys have seen this before. Uh, it's for pressing vinyl and whatever I need to use it for. Uh, this is a dirty shirt. I've actually been cleaning stuff with it, but it, it was a misprint. Uh, now it's just dirty. Uh, let's see. We got the deep freezer. Got to have that. Got the food dehydrator. Got to make the jerky, right? So got that. Got the, I don't know if you can see it, this is the wide format printer. It's for making uh, blanks, not blanks, uh, making the films, right? Film negatives, positives, however you want to call it. I think it's pretty positive. But anyways, it's for making those uh, so you can put on the screens. I won't show you, well, I can show you. Uh, so we'll coat this with emulsion. It'll be blue like this one up here. Uh, and then we'll use that image to burn that image on the screen using UV light from this thing here. Uh, and what we do, uh, so we use UV light from this table just by sticking it on there. So throwing it down and doing our thing, turn it on and it, it exposes so I can't open this cabinet because if I do the UV light that's in here uh, we'll start exposing those open screen so I don't want to do that so. but uh, I do have a table here for uh, exposure unit uh, unfortunately this is made in an overseas country and I did want to purchase an American made one, but the difference between this and one just like it was about $3,000. So we went with this one. If it breaks, then we'll, we'll think about it. Anyways, uh, so printer shelf, uh, that's where I do my emulsioning. There's ink up there, right there. Uh, more emulsioning stuff up there on the shelf, a blank mannequin shirt, uh, and then this is the very first screen I started with, right? This is, it didn't have that design on it, but that is my first screen, screen print screen that I started with. Uh, and I went ahead and put the new logo on it. Uh, and this is the first press I had. Uh, I still use it, well, I don't use it, but have it so if I need to use it I can use it for sleeves or stuff like that so I don't want to get rid of it it still serves a purpose or will serve a purpose uh, but yeah it's my first one so pretty happy about still having that but that's it uh, my fancy table my fancy mat my flip floppy shoes uh, and my cabinet I built this cabinet myself pretty proud of that that wood is guaranteed for 50 years because it's like outside siding so uh, but like I said, it's got screens in it that have been coated, so I can't open them up. But uh, I wanted to test the microphone out. Uh, the microphone, the microphone, you can't see it now because I'm all out right there. I just want to test the microphone out. Just want to see uh, how things are going to look and, and sound in here. 
because uh, I, I, we're going to end up starting shooting some videos. We're going to make some shirts and uh, show you how they go. Uh, uh, but I'll be in an embroidery shop for the rest of the week, probably parts of early next week, doing a lot of stuff over there, trying to catch up when I had my issue. Uh, I got behind on a lot of stuff, uh, but we're back. I'm back. I'm still fat, but I'm back. So, you know, I'm working on that part. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Tell me what you think. Did it sound okay? Is the, not the content, but the actual physical sound, was it all right? Uh, did it seem lighting? I know it was kind of horrible. I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to replace this light with a different one. Or maybe swap these two lights around, because that one's really bright. Uh, and it'll give me more light over here. Anyways. So that's kind of it. Once I open up that window, those windows, it'll bring a lot more light in here, which is good and bad because I have to cover the back door when I'm exposing screens just to knock the light down here, make it dark. Uh, I can, you know, because you can't do it with light. Anyways, that's it. That's all I got. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, just good or bad. Let me know. Tell me to shut up or whatever. You know, whatever. Thanks. Thanks for watching.